the four horsemen the four horsemen in the book of revelation chapter 6 have been at work for some time i can't actually really state yet when they have been since when they have been in in action but they have been in action for for some time now for some years i'm sad to say that the coronavirus uh, covid-19 is an effect what is the doing of the four horsemen one of the four horsemen I remember when covid when covid just struck you know and because we have loved ones that so, some people have passed on from covid you know some have just caught it and they survived but i was thinking one time when i was asking the lord i was like hey lord i mean everyone claims this china stuff china created covid-19 you know and there's all this this news going on around I pray that I pray that God blesses all of you listening to this and to open your eyes to the reality of what is happening in the world that people come to repentance in the holy and mighty powerful name of our Lord Jesus Christ amen covid i asked the lord one time well, uh, i was like lord what is going on with this coronavirus or, you know this whole disease what what's going on and he told me that everyone that has caught covid they have an unfinished case with me i have have something against them now, he didn't elaborate what exactly he has against anyone but he said he has something and let me tell you it can be something as small as the, as a grain of rice or a dot of salt a crystal of salt or sugar and and the lord has something against you these people teaching about the coronavirus and you know spreading news about the coronavirus even in churches you know saying that it's fake it's this it's that until something covid is real and it is more spiritual than physical the people in charge of power in this world they know what is going on that's why they are panicking too it is not them who created this disease it is not them they are trying to find cure for this trust me but but they will never find it i guess i don't know i don't think they will find it and they know what's happening because these people are they are in touch with the the spirits the ancestors 
fallen angels, demons. They are in charge with this. They are in touch with these things, and they tell them they see things in the spirit, so they know what is going on. Do not be fooled when you see these people move and act. Whatever way they act, they act. They, they, everything is out of control. Trust me, everything is out of control. Like the kingdom of Satan is scared. What's happening? They, they do not know when Christ is coming back. No, no one knows. They, they, they are panicking. They are scared. They know any second he's coming. And that's why evil is growing so much because they want to get the, the worst out of this life before their judgment. And <clears throat> I want to call upon each and everyone out there to repent, to, to put their houses in order. People still playing around with this entertainment. You're watching these movies, this, you're listening to this music that's evil, that doesn't glorify the name of God. You're watching movies, you're listening to, you're laughing at jokes from these comedians that are mocking the God you worship. You are, fo you, you are following false doctrine. Yet you claim you, you are of Christ, you do not read the Bible. Any Christian that does not read the Bible and seek God to grant them knowledge, wisdom, and understanding is going to be deceived. Any Christian that does not give time to the Holy Spirit, you go to your job, spend the whole day there, you walk, you eat. You come back from work, you're just tired. I mean, no one has an easy job, I'll tell you that. Someone will tell you that I spend, I spend 16 hours on a computer. It doesn't matter. These people out there working construction. You can't tell me that what from the very first minute you're on that computer to the end. That you can't have a break of an hour. That you can't have a break of 30 minutes. That all you think about through the day is of work. That work is your God, my friend. It is not easy for everyone out there, but we do not make excuses. We sacrifice. Searching for God is sacrifice. Put your life aside. It doesn't kill to cut out an hour a day to search for God. That's why you will be deceived. That's why you will miss out on heaven, because you do not have friendship with God, and He's coming for His friends. He's coming for, for a church that knows him. He's coming for people that know his voice, not people that seek for Christ through other people, through pastors, through prophets or apostles. He's, he's waiting for that person that he's coming for that person who knows his voice. Everyone that got that called COVID has unfinished business with the Lord. Revelation chapter 6. The Lamb opens six seals. And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder. One of the four beasts saying, Come and see. And I saw, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him. And he went forth conquering, and to conquer. And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. 
and there was unto him a great sword. There was given unto him a great sword. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see. And I beheld, and lo, a black horse. And he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny. and three measures of barley for a penny and see thou and see thou hath not the oil and the wine and when he had opened the fourth seal i heard a voice of the fourth beast say come and see and i looked and behold a pale horse and his name that sat on him was death and hell followed with him and power was given unto him and power was given unto them over the four part the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword with hunger and with death and with the beasts of the earth Amen. These are the four horsemen. That John saw when the lamb opened the six seals. There's death, there's hunger and calamity, there's There's a conqueror and there's one that takes peace from the earth. And these four horsemen, they rotate around the earth. They rotate around the whole earth. And that's why you see all these calamities happening. Earthquake. What? Because you can see an earthquake happens in China, then it happens in Africa, then it happens in in the Americas, like that. Just know it's the pattern. It was the pattern that horseman passed through, and everywhere he passes, the calamity follows. All these epidemics, pandemics, they are from. They are caused by these horsemen. lack of peace people are sleepless they just cannot rest they are depressed they have mental health these are the horsemen now these horsemen are not elaborated they're not explained to be godly or anything but the fruits of their of their work is very self-explained you can see and I do not want to make the Lord speak things that he did not speak. But by the Spirit of God, this was revealed unto me. That the four horsemen are behind the coronavirus. No human being. God bless you.